All right, Gemini, my, 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 Gemini. It is I, it is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Reds, Tarot. What is popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping, Gemini? We are here to find out what the wonderful, blessed, loving energy is surrounding you for the month of December. Honey, this has been a year to remember. 2020 has surely showed up and showed his ass this <laughs> this year y'all we have made it to december can y'all believe that we'd have been locked in for a whole year y'all o m g jesus let it be listen we're gonna put it all in jesus hands today we're gonna find out what father god got to say for us for december um thank you so much for all of my ogs thank you to all of my newbies to every last one of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed, and clicked this video, I want to send a lot of big love out to everybody. I want to send a lot of support and praises and blessings going out to everyone that I've been speaking to on a personal level recently. Um, uh, just know we all going up, y'all. We all going up. I want to give a big shout out to everyone that's been booking the personal private readings. We got a lot of new flavor coming in here for uh, the 2021. Um, we recently just got the Vintage Key uh, Cartomancy deck. This is a very beautiful, beautiful deck, y'all. Shout out to my love that sent that blessed... Uh, you know, money in for us to get that. And we also got four new decks that just came in. So thank you. Well, it didn't come in yet, but it'll be coming in this week. So thank you guys again for all of the support. Shout out to everyone that's been sending in, um, you know, decks through the Amazon wish list. I, I appreciate every last one of you guys because we definitely got several new decks that's about to hit this table. So y'all just look out for that beautiful, those beautiful decks and those beautiful energies. And today we will be using um, the Vintage Key, which is a very new deck for this reading. So thanks to you again. If there's anyone that would like to send support or would like to book a personal and private reading, the only thing you need to do is check the description in this video or click the About tab on my YouTube page. It gives the pricing list. It gives you the information on how to reach out to me. I only do video readings on um, Instagram Messenger or Google Hangouts. If you don't have Instagram, you can reach out to me by email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I'll get you all set up on Messenger. The only thing that we need to um, exchange is our email. And again, mine is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And Google Hangouts is a free, easy app to download. You can delete it after we, you know, finish our session. So, again, thank you guys for all the support. And if you would like to reach out to me for booking or to send love uh, over to the page and support the page, just check out the description and the about tab. So, let's say praise. Let's give God thanks before we move any further. Father God, I lift my hands up in glory because they don't know our story, Father God. Let me try to tell you, we come to you humble with strength and thanks, Father God. We just experienced a beautiful Thanksgiving. We are thankful for our kids. We're thankful for our home. We're thankful for our family. We thank for our career we thank you for our skills <laughs> and we thank you for all of our blessings father god and we thank you for continuing to move and keep going in our life father god we are steady humble and we are steady patient as we are moving forward in this journey father god we ask no questions we just pay attention to the signs and we do what we need to do father god so thank you so much for healing us thank you so much for feeling us when we were in our pain thank you so much for understanding the things that we need and the pleasures that we're trying to receive in our life father god we just want to you know have a pleasant full and blessed rest of our life from here on out, Father God, we've learned everything that we needed to learn. And we're going to leave the past in the past. And we're going to continue to move forward in the present. Amen. Father, amen. In Jesus' name, please give us guidance today for my beautiful, beautiful Geminis. For December 2020, thank you. Thank you and thank you. Y'all, I don't know why I'm fumbling over my, uh, <laughs> it must be this coffee, y'all. I swear, I, I probably made this shit way too strong, y'all. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. Try this damn Starbucks. So listen, we about to get this in my energy card, y'all. I have not used this deck in so long. It's about time to bring the good old trusty energy deck out, you guys. So let's see what y'all got going on. So I'm going to put it face down. Okay. So, I'm going to do this spread like this. I'm going to do general energy and I'm going to do love over here. 
So, I'm going to love over here. And why I got my watch on in the name of Jesus? Hold on. Hold on now. Oh, it's like unprepared and shit. Come on now. <laughs> Alright. I just, I don't know. I'm just looking at this energy card and I'm just like... I just get unfocused, man. <laughs> it's like I'm focused. I'm just getting like some real boss up shit. I just feel like you guys are focused on like closing doors. So your 2021 could just flourish. Like you just want to flourish in 2021 is what I'm being told. Like you are very, very focused. He said you're removing certain things out of your pathway that is hasn't been allowing you to change. So you might be, you know, releasing old toxic addictions, things that you know are just not good for you anymore. Like you just can't carry it with you in this new journey. Like you're shedding old skins. You can't do things the way you used to do, basically. And y'all just like, I'm just very, I'm very blessed for what I've been given. Like, y'all just seem very humble. I just like this Thanksgiving season. Y'all just seem very, just, you just very focused and just very blessed. And it's like, you know that. So it's like, you just striving hard to just. Stay out of your way so that you can just receive everything that you're supposed to be receiving right now. In Jesus' name, amen. These are love cards over here, though. It's all good. It's all good. It's just a lot of love cards <laughs> on this table. It is all good. Because that's what y'all be really wanting. These love beatings anyway. And y'all just said, Jim and I just said, I'm not focused on no love. I'm focused on moving forward. Period. <laughs> Two more, please. We'll go with the three. Yeah. Them kids is down there. Oh, my goodness. Them kids is down there acting a fool. two of spades lord jesus come on now hold on what is going on two of spades and then you got the two of clubs down here at the bottom of the guy <laughs> hold on now hold on <laughs> hold on hold on now they're singing lord is power fly Fireflies, so yeah, y'all know that song to take me high and teach me all the signs of love. What is he saying? 
Pää jopaa, ne tuttu baby baby. Lotta, mm-hmm. Not a dead nation. Just trying to make you smile. I feel, and that's, ooh, okay. So I feel like, ooh, they just said someone don't know how to play their position. Okay, so listen. Okay, so listen, just off the break, like, y'all got the two of spades and then you got the two of clubs. So basically, this is basically expressing to me that um, you guys have a decision here to make. Y'all have a choice to make, um, to put something aside and to keep going into the future, you know. Um, I feel like you're in a place where you're receiving new gifts, new blessings, new invitations with their two of clubs there, like, you know. So you just have good options. You have uh, the two of clubs to me. It's like, honestly, that's that's to me, like also like someone going out, enjoying their self. Um, that could be like someone going to a party, you know what I'm saying? Like leaving something to go somewhere to have fun, to express their self. Like, you know, like clubs to me, it's like a club, you know, like an, an engagement and a secret engagement or something like that. So, um, the two of spades is also where there's disposition, there's dishonesty, there's distrust, there's lies, there's scandal, there's gossip, there's slander, there's arguments, there's physical fights and mistreatment, you know, so it's put you in a place where you might just want to leave something, leave that elsewhere and just keep going and enjoy the party. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting here. The two of spades here says disharmony, imbalance, dilemmas, indecisiveness, complications, losses, setbacks, lies, deceit, secret affairs. OK, two sides to the story. Partnerships ends, breakup, separation, divorce, disbelief, incompatible, weighing the options, fear of moving forward, running from the truth, stop procrastinating, endings, beginnings, necessary changes, one door closes, another one opens, acknowledging the truth, understanding karmatic repercussions, you know, like it's time to finally put certain things to an end. This represents choices to me. It rep that is that new door, you know? Like, there is something else out there. Like, you don't just have to just stay in that one position. You you know, there's other clubs you can apply to that you can receive favor. You can receive an invitation, like an initiation process. You know what I'm saying? Exchanging of, of you know, it says frictions, opposition, roadblocks, disappointment, indecisiveness, stagnations, block communication, fear of making the wrong move, taking the first step, define a direction, take the initiative, face your fears, cooperation, stepping up, finding common ground, season the day, soul connections. Again, so, oh. Again, so I do want to just, because I have other teachings <laughs> of what I think the two of clubs is. The two of clubs, from what I have been told, it means social invitations, business or social correspondence of any kinds, uh, benefiting something, something being given or received. A gift, a birthday, or anniversary present. Something being given or received, not limited to material things only. It could be a gift of someone's time or energy being given freely. It may be a piece of helpful advice, a special favor, or even a little bit of good news. A clock, time. Do you understand? So, again, you can even look at this as the two of wands and the two of spades. You know? So... Having to sit back and go over your options, just really feeling, you know, the two of spades of stagnation. It's someone sitting down not making a move. <laughs> so let's keep going here because we done got all up into the card, all up into the quarter man. See, girl, we don't listen. Look, the queen of swords and the six of wands. Didn't I tell y'all y'all was... Y'all done made the decision that y'all is cutting yourself out of a goddamn dilemma. Y'all are moving forward. You speaking your truth. And you stand to your ground. Do you understand? Success 
it honor will be received. You you believe in yourself. You already know that everything that you put out into the universe is coming to you. So you are getting the honor and recognition. You are getting the invitations. You are standing up for yourself. You are speaking victory into your life. And things are coming right into you. You did make the decision to cut certain things out and stand on your truth. And speak the truth now and let the truth forever hold you free. Okay, let you always be free. <laughs> like, is this is like you are finally regaining the success and the acknowledgement of who you know you are. Like, you know that you're strong. You know that you're a leader. You know that, you know, sometimes a queen stands alone. Sometimes I got to do certain things by myself and I don't need a lot of people around me. You know, I don't need a lot of people around me to, like, stagnate and think that they can make decisions and make choices for me. No, 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 Mama Gemini. I, I am the ruler. Listen, the first chakra, Archangel Michael. I like him. I like Mr. Archangel Michael, okay? I am reloaded, baby. You are feeling fiery. You feeling feisty. You feel beautiful. That's that root chakra energy. That's you feeling protected. That's you just even know that you have, like, guardian angels standing over you, protecting you in every step of the way, of every step you go, you know? You can, like, at this moment, feel, um, mm. I feel like again they're saying it's like you've been spending a lot of time alone but at the same time I feel like you do have like a desire or a passion for someone and I feel honestly that you have been standing your ground and you've been uh backing down you know people that will get in the way of like a true romance here because I just feel like a desire for something real passionate someone that's real sincere that has that duality with you that balance um someone that's sensitive but yet supportive someone that is willing to cooperate and just listen and you know Feel each other out. Hear each other's heartbeat next to each other. It's like you just really need that connectivity, that energy, you know? And I definitely feel like the queen will stand alone until this uh, masculine energy that you desire and require. It's not I just desire, I require. Listen, I desire and I require. It's requirements, okay? requirements okay or you will be met with the sword straight up like that straight up now tell me do you really want to love me forever uh 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 am i caught in a hit and run bitches ain't no hit and run around here okay this ain't no hit and run around here straight up now tell me do you really want to love me forever uh 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 okay or am i caught in a hit and run baby no when you pull up no you ain't gonna be one to pull out <laughs> this ain't no hit and run, baby. This ain't no hit and run, because, baby, when I'm trying to tell you, when I just make decisions to cut out the oppositions, the opponents, I make it that choice for a reason, because I don't want there to be no competition when the real board leader steps around. When the real winner step around, that is... Has a leading score up on that board? Oh, honey, I want this motherfucker to know. Come on in, baby. Hey, listen, the winner has arrived. Hello. Do, 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 do. The king has arrived. Like, this is like literally like the champion has arrived on the queen's doorstep. Like, this is what I'm getting. Like, is this why we had to address you making room? You made some room. This conversation had to be had first. It had to be had first. Because she's sitting there by herself. First chakra. Or, I really do. I, it's, I, why do I feel like this is going to say something about love or sex or intimacy or something? In a spine base where a sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues, 
even if you have problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you the strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path. So allow yourself to feel an increase in faith and in your own powers and feel secure now and in all days. This is about security, but I'm trying to tell you like the root chakra is Mm, I'm I'm serious. I'm, I'm okay. I feel like the champion has arrived, you guys. Especially, I want to say if you guys are like in your mid thirties, or if you're younger and like you're dating someone and the person that you're dating that's coming, that's arriving into your life, because I like this is an arrival, like of a champion, of a winner, of you know. This is someone that you want to give your attention to like they passed whatever test because this queen of swords, she puts, they go through sparring, they go through tests, they go through rounds and stuff before they can just, she even acknowledges them or even looks at them. You know what I'm saying? So she wants to feel protected. She wants to feel provided for. She wants to feel, you know nurtured and catered to <laughs> y'all 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 like to be catered to so let me see you got joy and stability trust okay you got that full card so with this joy and stability right here this came in the reverse i am going to acknowledge it being in the reverse i, I definitely feel here this is to me like Mentally, like, because to me, this is the the third eye chakra, I believe. This purple, this, like, nice purple. It's just, like, third eye chakra. So, I feel like there was a sense of worry around, like, your stability and your foundation for some reason. Where you really couldn't uh, have this joy and... The sense of stability. That's why it's saying like. Archangel Michael is here to like. Release you from that tension. And I want to say. A lot of it had to do. Because you had to step away from. Something that wasn't adding up. It's just like the figures weren't adding up. Like the time that was being spent. Versus the resources that were being gained from the situation. This can definitely have something to do with job recognition. Uh, professional title. You know. This can have something to do with a professional title and recognition. So you guys... You needed something where you felt more free. And you might have just jumped out there with zero fucks given with, the, with that fool card. Like you might have released yourself from something again. Testing your options. Believing in yourself. Being secure in yourself. Like I'm not going to argue with y'all no more. I'm not going to continue to be in a situation where there's going to be constant disagreements or... People lying on me, all this frustration and this bullshit or whatever. I know who I am. I'm secure. Look, a queen stands alone. I don't need to even be here. You know, the champ is here. So I'm getting two different things right here. I'm feeling on the love front. You guys might have cut someone out because you needed to feel more stable and secure. I definitely feel like you want a more handsome lover too. It's something about... Why do I feel like y'all were dating someone that wasn't even that attractive that you could have had someone more attractive and more stable <laughs> than that? Then whoever y'all was dating, like whoever y'all was dating, it's like I could have been with someone way better than that. Like you, they weren't even that good looking, wasn't even that outgoing for me. Like I like someone more outgoing, more athletic, someone that has better standards than that. You know, like I could have done way better than that. You know, uh, uh. Mm. Like the champ is here. The champ is here. Like for real. What is this? The rebuild card. 
This is the repeal card. So I feel like this is the tower. This is the tower. So this is like... That's like avoiding... This is like avoiding something. Like constantly trying to do some patchwork on something. And completely like blocking a blessing to move on and rebuild. Like... This jumping out on faith and getting out of the way of a disaster just breaking down in front of you or around you. Like you completely got out of the way of a crackling. It's like the building, like if, if, a, if a real good storm would have came, it would have just blown that foundation down because it had cracks all in the foundation it just wasn't sturdy and you have tried and tried and tried to put your trust in your faith and kept trying to build up on something but something in your gut told you stop trying to rebuild in this situation stop trying to stop trying to nurture something thinking that you're allowing it to grow when naturally it's going to cave in anyway Move around the structure and find another place to rebuild. Rebuild someplace else. Someplace where you don't have to fight for the honor and recognition. Someplace where people actually trust in you. Somewhere that you feel stable, where you can move and you feel free. Do you understand? So, because you did not have the trust, there was no joy, there was no stability. You decided, I need to move. And I need to move around this. I can't continue trying to trick myself thinking that I can rebuild. Like, God tore this down for a reason. To allow me to be free. To allow me to plant something new somewhere else. You know, why go and plant a garden right in the pastures of a building that's about to cave in. And going to crumble down over top of all your hard work. That doesn't make any sense. There's no sense to rebuild. It makes more sense to trust and faith and realize that there is no joy and safety and security here and just move on. No more. Being forced to rebuild somewhere else. Daydreams and decisions. So this is where you, once you decide that this building is crumbling down anyway. Leave it alone. Walk around it. You realize how many options you have. How many choices you have. How like deep your mind and your heart goes in regards to home and family matters. And what you really want your life to look like. I really do feel like you are deeply going inside. And like honoring yourself for what you want your future to look like it's not about nobody else it's about me right now and I do have choices I do have options I don't have to keep trying to rebuild here like I feel like at one point you might have felt pressure you might have felt pressure for things to remain the same and just keep trying to work at it I don't have to do that that's not what I really want you know so right now you guys may be going within and having like this inner soul journey experience and you're going over your options and you're painting pictures in your mind and you're crossing your eyes and you're dotting your t's and you making sure that nothing is missed you know you want to include yourself in your own fantasy. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, no, I want to live this fantasy. I don't want to just dream about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to dream about making money. I want to feel it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to enjoy it. So, like, how can I do this? And what options do I really have that are tangible to me? You know, I feel like you do have a lot of time right now to think and to manifest and to be on your own to gather yourself right now because if you were if you were in this space still where you weren't feeling stable and having joy if you didn't release yourself if you didn't cut yourself away from an unstable environment you would not be able to relax and have daydreams because you would be too busy down here worrying 
thinking about if it's okay to leave something behind and move. Like, no, 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 I know. Jump out on faith. Trust. Sometimes you just got to start all over and rebuild elsewhere and understand that God tears shit down for a reason. Don't ask questions. Just continue imagining and dreaming about your future. And that's it. And that's all. Don't let nothing, nobody, steal your pride, steal your dignity. You can always, everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. You can always rebuild. You can always change. You can always change. Let's see what this is. We got the gentleman card right here. Alright? So, this gentleman here has the ace of hearts. So, this could very much have something to do with uh, you feeling stable and secure within the matter of a relationship uh, with some man. You may be dreaming about... It says daydreaming and decision. So, you may be having daydreams and decisions about choices and love. Matters of the heart, matters of the home. Um, I'm getting religion too. Religion. I'm definitely getting religion. They, they all just said, I want something like a sexy pastor. Yes, God. Yes, God. That is what y'all saying. Something about. He's talking about the congregation. I feel like you're like one of the people. And like now this might be a whole totally different story. I feel like some of y'all got my got a crush on a pastor. Like y'all might be daydreaming about a pastor. Like you really enjoy being a part of this pastor's congregation. And how he speaks and how he leads. You know. It just makes you feel so prominent and blessed for the things coming to you in your future and I'm getting and I'm getting God bless you you got this it's like whatever this person this pastor or something and I really feel like this pastor is very cute <laughs> why do I feel like some of y'all it's like some type of religious leader or like some inspirational speaker or something it's somebody that that's that's in the public eye or something like that you know, like gets a lot of attention. Like a lot of people seek this person for guidance or something like that. But this person is very, very handsome. Very handsome. I feel like you guys daydream about this person. This person gives you a lot of wisdom and makes you believe in yourself. I like that. What is this? The, I'm trying to tell you like this person is mature. This person is honorable. This person is a very faithful man. This can very much so have something to do with wisdom, religion. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This person is teaching you like about maturity dedication um they're saying safekeeping even like protecting yourself from the future like this i feel like you have like a lot of wise conversations with this person yeah like this person could be a little older than you it's like I, I, I if they're not older than you they could be your same age or they could be a little bit older than you but i just feel like there's a lot of wisdom that comes there a lot of confidence like you feel at peace like this this conversation and this wisdom that is being given it they, they make you feel that is on top of the tower card in the reverse so it's like god blessed you to have the opportunity to be able to rebuild elsewhere. God didn't want you to stay here. Look, God wanted you to trust on faith. Like, sometimes God releases you from situations and move mountains bigger that you didn't have the strength and the ability to, to remove. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes he builds security around you that you weren't strong enough to build. Do you understand? So, I, I, I really feel like this has something to do. Like, y'all been up in church, like, for real. Because I'm getting chills right now. I'm serious. Like, this past to be preaching, bro. Like, you be you be online every Sunday. Or if you 
Uh, if the churches are still open, like you be in there trying to seek the truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this person, this pastor, it makes you feel strong, makes you trust and jump out on faith where you didn't have that security and stability before. Like this pastor, like brings you joy, brings you wisdom, brings you hope. Come on now. What is this the key? I'm trying to tell you this pastor or whoever this is, whoever this man represents in your life, this gentleman. It's basically showing you that that you have options, that you have decisions. Like this represents you have the choice to open up that door to see who's on the other side. You understand? Some people they'll have the options to open new doors in their life, and they'll just stand there and look at it because they haven't decided if they want to leave what they have behind yet, or to go with or to go with what's in their future. Some people can be in a place of disharmony, sadness, hate, regret, envious people, people that mean them no good, people that's just trying to use them, lie to them, manipulate them, all of that stuff like that. And they can still have the key to a new future, to a new destiny, and they'll still sit there and fumble and try to make a decision whether or not if they're going to walk through the door or not. And... This person said, baby, free yourself. Be free. Be free. Listen, you want to grow old and happy. <laughs> Be wise. Be fruitful. You want to grow old and happy. You don't want to die from early age because of stress and anxiety, honey. Be smart with your decisions. Be wise. It's time for you to grow and mature. Stop trying to put pieces together with something that God himself is trying to take away from you. Listen. Listen to someone that loves you. Listen to someone that's trying to guide you the right way. You have choices. You have options. You understand? So right now is the time to really go inside and to think about what it is you really want and what you what you're really asking God to give you. You know what I'm saying? It's about self. It's about self. It's about honoring yourself right now. It's honoring yourself and honoring God. In Jesus' name, amen. So right now, we definitely see that you got the key. And that is the Eight of Diamonds. You know, so the Eight of Diamonds is when um, that is like caution. You know what I'm saying? You paying attention to everything that you do, everything that you say, every little bit of energy that you put out because it means something. It pays in dividends some type of way. You understand? So you have the choice to stay where you're at or to jump out of faith and be free and see what else God has for you. So, you know, only you know what you have in your possession and what you need to possess in your life what, what you have yet to gain. So you have to decide forward movement. If what you currently have is enough or do you need to continue to keep going? This faith card is a card of movement. This is the key basically telling me that you have the option and it looks like that you are making your own choices and your choice here is to be free and to move forth and be fruitful. In Jesus name, amen. All right, come on now. Come on. <laughs> Look, with that six of wands right there, it's just like I want I want stability. I want to be honored. I want to be recognized. I want to feel secure in everything I am and everything that I do. And then you got the locket, goddammit. Okay, come on now. Then you got the locket. You got the locket. So it's just like you definitely jumped out. You put the key, look, you you made the choice, and now you're receiving the gifts. You're getting the compliments. You're receiving the proposals. You know, you're getting every single thing that you want. You have that trust. You have that stability. You have that love. You have that frequency that you've been desiring. So I'm so glad you decided to be wise. Be wise. Sometimes it's better to just leave the past in the past. Leave all that 
arguing, fussing, and fighting, and confusion. Leave that shit back there. That's why we had to address these two cards before we even got into this. Because it wouldn't have made no sense elsewhere. It wouldn't have made no sense elsewhere. What's about to be right here? Listen, you got the Six of Clubs, baby. Listen. The Six of Clubs is basically when... This, I mean, that's the Six of Clubs. I mean, this is when you're being recognized. This is when that you're winning. Like, you're winning. You're winning. You're, you know, possessing the correct energy. You're gaining. You know, you're living in the very moment of everything that you described to God that you wanted your success to look like. This is you basically receiving... Uh, that new blessing of that new job. You know what I'm saying? So you could have transferred a new job and it could be better than what you thought it was. Do you understand? Like, it's kind of like your hard work is finally like changing in physical ways. Like you could see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could see it. You're glad that you went through whatever challenge you went through in the five of clubs because the five of clubs is when i don't want to be here anymore and i've made the decision to go ahead and change and to cut myself out to cut my losses i want to change locations i want to change jobs i don't want to put forth the same attention and energy that i was here i'd rather do it over there because uh yeah this says Resistance, stress, tension, anxiety, out of alignment, movement, necessary decision making, detach and surrender, windfalls of monies, opportunities, lucrative business moves, unexpected incomes, equal give and take. I told y'all communications, new attractions, compliments, apologies, trust your intuition, blind faith. I told y'all. I told y'all. And let me go on over here. So. The Six of Clubs, traditionally a card of movement, progress, completion in business and social matters. Like I said, wrapping up old business matters. You moving into some new shit. An opportunity to resolve a problem, taking responsibilities for a problem or a situation and doing whatever is necessary to ensure success. Commun um, communion, sharing one's thoughts and ideas, negotiation, banter, talk. And other forms of communication, including hand gestures, body language, the media, written word, good counsel, trusted advice, knowledge, reading, studying, and learning. Okay? So, again, like I said, like, you make best out of an opportunity. You know? And, again, the five of clubs is a card of change. Changes in the work situation. Changes in social standings. Okay, represents the five fingers of the hand can represent um, working with one hand or making something. It can also denote exercise or physical labor or providing the extra effort needed to get a job done. Action, physical act, um, activity, the need for physical uh, uh, exercise, competition, a sporting event, a job interview or good luck do you understand so there was some change that had to be made you made a decision to change when you were in that five of clubs your change of action regarded regarded your need for certain accolades certain possessions and attention and acknowledgement and a certain standard of living a certain standard of living you wanted to be admired and feel protected in the seat that you've earned. Bottom line. Bottom line. So I'm glad that. Whatever resistance that you went through. Because it clearly is saying right here. There was some disharmony. There was an imbalance. There was a lot of fussing and fighting. There was disagreements. There was challenges. Which made you look at your options. And decide. Listen. Listen. I have other choices. Sometimes pressure creates diamonds. Let me make my next choice my best choice. All right. This says windfalls of money, lucrative business moves, and unexpected income equal giving and taking. Right. So this is like that six of clubs and the six of pentacles all wrapped up within each other. 
in one suit. So, I definitely feel like on a career front that you guys are making your next move the best move. And especially in matters of the heart, I definitely feel like because you guys have stood up for yourself, you're seeking recognition in the right place. You're not allowing anyone to dishonor you. You're seeking stability and security. And because you're doing that, you're leaving everything else alone. And I definitely feel like it's opening up the door for you for new blessings in love um, and in, in finance and career as well. Okay, so let's get into love. All right, let's see what we got right here. We got Elizabeth Taylor. All right. It says, don't run so fast that you can't be caught. Okay, queen of goddamn swords. <laughs> don't run so fast that you can't be caught. You can be a big fan of marriage. Just be an even bigger fan of diamonds. Okay, girlfriend. All right. No diamonds are forever. All right. You can be a big fan of marriage. Just be an even bigger fan of diamonds. True friends last longer than marriage. However many times you marry. True friends last longer than marriages. It don't matter how many times you marry. Them friends still be there forever. All right? Mmm. So, I feel. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. I'm enjoy head nuts and mouths don't. Listen. I feel. That you guys are just. Looking for a very, very. A, uh, 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 not a fair weather friend. You ain't looking for no fair weather friend. Oh, but you got the princess of swords. So you listen. I definitely feel like you guys are on the search here, a little bit. I definitely feel like you guys are on the search here. It's like I cut somebody out, and now I'm open for someone new. I. You guys are feisty. Like, you guys don't have any problem with cutting anybody down. Uh, you don't have any problems with remarrying again. I feel like you would remarry ten times if you wanted to, if you really felt like it was love. But right now, it's more about your social commitments. Like, I, I feel like you'd rather spend a little bit more time with your friends than... You paying attention to love right now. Because it's like love better love me. You know. It's like love is chasing me. I'm not chasing love at this time. Like I'm. I want to be engaged in more fun. Lucrative and social interactions. Like maybe I'll find love there. You know. I. You guys are definitely on a prowl. And searching for. Something on the more intellectual sphere. It's like. You'd rather be queen of the social group. Like, I feel like you'd rather be popular in a social group. So, you may be trying to try out or, um, it's like, I feel like you're looking for some invitation for you to be invited to some group or some get together, especially like a Christmas invitation. It's like this social group with this gathering or some sorts and, it's like you trying to win best dress. You're definitely and saying you're going to impose yourself on other people because you want to be invited to this group. It's like I want to be at the social gathering. Like I've been looking for someone to talk to that can get me in there. She's a social climber. It's like she's a social climber right now. I don't have time for all of this other bullshit. Look, the tower. So, again, this is like something that is... I feel like you're about to take the world by storm, you guys. I don't even think that they're about to see you coming. It's... You could not give a fuck about no uh, sexual engagements right now. Like, you are about social climbing. You're coming in that bitch dressed to impress. I don't mean to impose myself on you, but bitch, maybe I do. Maybe the fuck I do. You ain't seen me coming, but I damn sure seen you. Uh, you hear me? You ain't seen me coming, but I damn sure seen you, honey. 
you know exactly what to say. You got the gift for gab. You have a sharp tongue. You dress like the most desired. Like you, they can't even see you the fuck coming. I'm so sorry about it. You're very, very smart. You're very, very smart. You're very talkative. Like you like mixers and things like that. You like mixing in things. They ain't even going to see you. I swear, like, you're going to just blow everyone away. You're going to take people by storm. It's like, you came through and blew shit down like Hurricane Katrina. I'm just so sorry. It's like you blew all of the competition the fuck out of the way. And you're like, yeah, I see them competition. Like, they ain't, they ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's like, you could have studied this group. You, you could have been studying this group or preparing yourself to be a part of this group for a long time. I feel like you might have just been distracted by something else. But now it's time for you to play your part. Then the crumbling came here. It says, what are you clinging to? This is the tower. You got the tower. Like, how many? You got three towers, bitch. What are you clinging to? It's saying the past. It says, don't run so fast that you can't be caught. I feel like that's because you're running from your past. It's like you cut yourself out of it, but you're running from it. It's like you're still clinging to the memory of it. That's why it's like you focusing so deeply on trying to like engage elsewhere. You don't want to be there anymore. It's like I feel like sudden change still disturbs you or something or like the thought of, of a present storm is frustrating to you. Because of what you experienced before. So it's like I am the storm. I am bringing the storm. You know what I'm saying? Like I am a force to be reckoned with. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me see. The dragonfly. The camera, I told y'all it had something to do with old memories, old keepsakes and shit like that. It says, be lighthearted, finding out, things come into light, adapt to change, heal. This came in the reverse, so I don't feel like you're flying high, okay? And I'm not saying that you're flying low, but... I feel like you're trying to suppress yourself with focusing on your social standings in this gathering and group so that you can't focus on old memories, you know, but really like them old memories are still clinging to you in some way. And even though you're and you can't stand them, like that's what y'all are telling me. It's like you can't stand them. And like that's why you're trying to keep busy and you're trying to stay socially engaged and trying to find other people to talk to but at the same time I feel like sometimes you could come off a bit vicious if you feel like something stands in your way of something do you understand like if you see something I feel like you just have everything you have so everything so focused and planned out like you're so dedicated to this new becoming, this new thing, you know what I'm saying, that I don't think that you took the time to heal, you just started just like mad crashing in, into, into this, you know what I'm saying, and staying engaged with new people and focusing your energy on this, and you know, because these cannons, I feel like you may be a little quick tempered and you may go off on people and they may be ill prepared. 
you know, because this could represent immature communication or premature uh, communication. So it's like. I'm getting, I'm getting like you may be questioning people about the status of an application, but you haven't finished the process period yet. It's like wait and finish the process period. You know what I'm saying? Before you keep asking questions and how things are going, like things are going good. Like you're taking things by storm. Just relax. You know what I'm saying? But I still feel some level of pressure stress and anxiety from you not feeling stability before in your past life that you are carrying over here and you keep having fear of the storm it's like something's just going to come suddenly and just going to try to you know knock my power out like you know what i'm saying it's like i'm getting like hurricane katrina like People ain't had no power and no lights and no water or like no food for days or like something like really bad happened before that you had to regain st stability and security and you had to do it by yourself. Like you were carrying dead weight and you didn't get the recognition and the reward until you got certain people around you and you just focused on self. You know what I'm saying? And you stop trying to rebuild with other people. And you stop arguing with people. You know what I'm saying? Like you stop resisting change. And like open new doors. Do you understand? So. Stop allowing. Because it's like. I feel like the crumbling. Because remember I was saying. Like. I think I was saying earlier. It was like. You were being told to get out of the way. Because this building is crumbling and you don't want to be standing around when the ship finally hits the ground because you could get hurt just standing near you know what I'm saying or you don't want no dust in your hair or nothing like that I feel like there's dust in your hair some of y'all might need to cut your hair off or some shit like you need to just you need a change you need a I'm not trying to tell y'all go skull ball out this motherfucker. I don't want none of y'all walk around skull ball ball head and be saying no oh, red told me to cut your shit off. But you know what I'm saying? Go get that shit styled or something. I don't know. But it's just like y'all need to cut off old energy from that old marriage. You see how she got a shortcut? You see how she got a shortcut? You see how over here her hair is long and blonde and it's kind of like... You know, kind of tucked in. You know, it's like her hair was long and blonde. But over here, she went straight list and she done got divorced. She's looking for new engagements. She ain't to listen. Her heart ain't stopped loving and shit. She'll get married again, okay? She just. <laughs> Look. The fuck? <laughs> I ain't even playing. Like, y'all will go and get married again. Like, you ain't about to stop engaging in, in, in your social interactions just because one motherfucker cookie crumbled. Fuck that nigga. Oh, fuck that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you need to change your appearance. Um, Like, something, like when you look at yourself in the mirror, I think you need to see something completely different. So you don't even think about those old memories of yourself when you even used to look like that. Like it's not like you need to change your appearance. Cause I like what I see when I look at you like this. Cause you 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 giving me fever. You give me fever. Fever in the morning. Fever when you hold me tight. Fever. Can't stand it. Fever when you hold me tight. Look, I don't even know the damn words. You give me fever. I don't give a damn, but bitch, you giving me fever over here. Like you giving me the light lightning and the thunder. Boom, boom, boom. Lightning and the thunder. Thunder. Like so like. I just want you to Don't be scared to let new things happen to you. Like be that force of nature. Be that lightning in the in the thunder. Like, and again, don't run so fast that you can't be caught. You know? So don't run away 
in fear of you not having happy happy happiness and stability from your years past. Those were your yesteryears. These are today's experiences. So what are you clinging on to? You're clinging on to thoughts and memories of yesterday's storm. That was yesterday's storm. Living today's blessings. Listen, you got the abundance card. There's going to be sudden change of abundance and blessings and a social uprising. Like I said, you're a social climber. Like you have the gift of gab. Like you know how to make friends who got friends, who got big friends, who got even bigger friends. And you all of their friends. Do you understand? Like y'all know what y'all be doing. Like come on, Gemini. My, 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 Gemini. Honey, and do you see like some of those towers get split apart because listen, there's so much beauty beyond that galaxy. It's time for you to go somewhere else. It's time for you to be that force of nature. And I like how it's the winter time over here. So again, Miss Social Climber or Mr. So Look, there's there was a crumbling, there was a broke breaking down of old structures and old memories because it's time for new pictures reminiscing keepsake perceptions learning from the past make memories there's new memories to be made here you understand so let's see you got the four of diamonds i'm trying to tell you so like to me this is that security but i mean what do you mean to me this is that this is the security this is you receiving the blessings like this is the diamond ring. This is the new car. This is the new hair. New fingernails. New, listen, new purse. Okay? New furniture. Okay? This is like you even having like being recognized at an award ceremony at your job. Like this could be like at your job. Like you get in that office with the floor to ceiling window you know with the with the nice view and everything like that this is blessed it says financial responsibilities financial affairs a hoarder tightwad meeting demands saving business dealings difficult choices career taking center stage be open to opportunities embrace change new material assets documents paperwork new wardrobe Stability. Okay, let me go over here. Cause I'm so sorry. I like I love those cards, but it has such a different depiction from what I've learned. So I have to like go between the both of them. So the four of diamonds means financial security, financial papers, rented property, a license or certificate. Remember, I said you guys getting a reward, a ticket, a bank account, a strong box, a checkbook, a wallet, jewelry, an office. A desk okay so again I think that this is definitely have something to do with this social climbing recognition and you becoming in office like what is that what is that I feel like in your personal endeavors like you guys just made wonderful resources. Because it's like y'all everything was so broken down in your life. You ain't have nothing else to do but to talk to people and get to know new people and make new memories. You ain't had nothing else. Everything else has been broken down and you moved on from something and you started something new. I feel like you made the right connections, which I'm not getting too much going on in y'all love life, though. I'm definitely getting that you guys ain't giving a damn about love and you worrying about being a social climber and you social climbed your ass up into some motherfucking abundance. And then you got the queen of hearts. Oh my God, y'all. So again, like you guys are like poetic, your magnetism, like your heart is free flowing. Like you're constantly smiling. Like you're giving, like you understand why God broke down those structures. You're getting the recognition. You getting the fame, you know, like, this is fame. You are the most beautiful woman in the club. Like, you're stealing people's hearts. Like, people love your voice. They love your clothes. They love your cooking. Like, 
you're getting the success and the reward like you've socially climbed yourself up you could be the queen of hearts right now and you may be the femme fatale like i don't know why i want to say the femme fatale but it's like people are kind of scared of you because is like you may be the most popular you may be the most sought after you may be the most dynamic you uh you know what i'm saying like you're a social climber you meet the right people and you make the right choices and the right exchanges and it's like so people they'll think twice before trying to approach you because they're thinking about can they even fit the quality of man or whatever requirements that you're looking for because remember I said something about requirements and the champ is here but I don't feel like you guys are really looking for a champion right now I feel like you are the champion like you are the champion that's why it's saying don't run so fast that you can't be caught it's like i don't want to be caught i just like to receive diamonds and recognition right now i am the diamond i am the sort of after treasure <laughs> period closes the door boom it's like like this is how vicious you are just like yeah like this is my new little friend y'all mind your business Great. boom closes the door on y'all like i'm sorry like y'all want some pimp shit <laughs> y'all it's like the social climber the social climber just bottom line the social climber listen the seven of cups, like going within those dreams and my desires of everything that I want and everything that I want to be. Man, I, I, I might not want to rebuild in regards to relationships right now. I'm just going, I don't, I, I feel like it's something about relationships right now that kind of suck the life out of you. Just the thought of it. It brings too much anxiety and thoughts of pain and shit from like yesteryears and I don't think that you guys have released that as of yet and that's what you're still holding on to and you are just receiving recognition diamonds and having fun in your new social group with your new social recognition so shout out to all my Gemini's look my 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 <laughs> look big pimp in the building I love it listen if this <laughs> this resonated y'all hit the like button y'all want to reach out to me for a personal reading go ahead and do it now because y'all know the holidays is coming i'm going to be wrapping it up into the new year so um if y'all want a personal reading y'all go ahead and get in there now i love you thank you for loving me i will see you in 2021 peace